Okay, I'm going to show you the installation of the very secure FTP daemon VS FTPD. First of all, we need to install the server and we're going to install a client just so we can test things. Um, so you can use yum install FTP. FTP is the client and VS FTPD is the server. So we're going to install these two packages. And once they're installed, we are ready to go ahead and start the server. The server is actually already ready to go. So we just start it up. So system still start. And it's a VS, oops, VS FTP D. We start that. And now if we want it to be starting on boot time, we can enable the service as well. Um, then we just need to add a rule in the firewall to allow us to connect to it. So firewall add service equals FTP. And if we want to make it permanent, we add the permanent to the end. All right. Now the files, when you use the server, um, the default location is bar. FTP hub. Um, you can see it's nice, good directory. Um, if you wanted to change the location, you can do that, but you might want to change the context. You'll notice the context, the SC Linux context is public content T. So you need to make sure that whatever directory you're pointing to, the context type is public content T. All right. Now we have the server running and we are allowing the firewall to come up connect through and we want to now use a client. So on this client machine, we're going to install the FTP client. And we need to have uh, something to download. So let's go back to the server. So in this uh, directory, we'll do a nano some message.txt say this file is on the server. So we save that file. We see that it is public content T it is on the server. Now we go back to the client. The client has been installed. So we do FTP server.example and we're connected to it. We want to do an anonymous connection. So we do a n o n y m o u s anonymous, and you pass it some email address. So client at example.com. All right. Now we are in binary mode for transferring files. You can do a ls command, and you can see that there's a pub directory. So we do cd pub do ls again and we see there's a message so we want to do a get message.txt it transfers over we get that by to exit out of the client now we look at our little client machine and there's a message.txt file that I've downloaded right here and so I do cat on this message file and I can see that this is the file that came from the server and now you've seen how to configure an FTP server and to use a client to download a file.